Alrighty, guys, I am going to mock unbox, uh, which they're already unboxed, and these have been in the collection for well over a year, each of them. So I have the FN57, I've got the Ruger 57, and I've got the PSA 57. And I just want to talk just topically about these firearms and kind of the unboxing. So, all right, let, let's start at the beginning. You get a box that's nearly as big as the box that I'll throw my PS90 and FN57. So this box is that stinking big. Boom. So in the box, it's kind of, oh yeah, and I got the 10 round mag extension to make it a total of 30 rounds. So with the FN57, grab an FN57, boom. You get it, let's see, you get three mags. So there's one in the gun, two in here. My mags are in like my mag carry pouch, wherever that may be. And I'm pretty sure you don't get anything extra. The Ruger, the, the second, you know, I it's not the second 5.7 pistol, but oh Lord, I did get the New Jersey 5.7. So I, friends of mine knew I was interested in this. They knew there was one out there in New Jersey. So you get a lock, a magazine. I think this one, or, and can I drop it in here still? Eh, no. All right. But, ooh, ooh, just barely. If you smack it hard enough, it will fit. So, okay, you get stuff. And again, big plastic case. Now, the PSA, I got this deal. This was a blem. Check that out. Fluted barrel, threaded barrel, optics cut. You got a reasonable carrying case. Like I said, this one came with 10 mags. I don't even know what's in here. Is this the lock? Yes. So you get a lock. You get pouches for mags. I'm not even, or don't know what that is. And this fits in like actually that. So you, you could actually nicely take this to the range with you. And boom, that, that fits anywhere. Un, unlike these big honking plastic and you know, hey, oh, nothing says quality like, you know, vacuum formed plastic. So I guess the next question is, how does it feel on the hand? Holy cow, that, I have large hands, not excessively large hands. That's a big, big, big grip. The Ruger, actually, I kind of wish it was a little, cur maybe rounded at the edges or so, but a smaller grip. But this, dude, the PSA, love, 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 love that grip, that, Definitely, for my hands, and your hands will be different, Violet, mileage may vary, or mileage may wear, marry, I am definitely liking the PSA grip the best. You got that nice notch there. It is super comfortable. Texture on the gas pedal area. No gas pedal area. So let's go over this. Boom. Fluted barrel, threaded, optics cut. Gone. And we've got optics cut. I don't have a threaded or fluted barrel or anything like that, but still very nice looking firearm. What I'll tell you is I appreciate the amount of machining that goes into this for the cost. Now again, no firearm is worth 1200 bucks, and I think I paid 11 for this, and I don't think any firearm is worth $1,100, but I'm an FN57 fanboy, so I got it. And when this came out, I wanted one, because I was a fanboy. And then when PSA did their own take on it, I needed to get one of those. So just kind of non-technical here, how it feels, how it looks, what you get with it. I am loving the dollar value on the PSA. Now, all of these slides have front and rear serrations. So we're all nice with that. And the, I guess the other question is takedown. So, 
and boom, that comes off and goes back on. So take down on the PSA is like stupid simple. How nice is that? Hmm. So take down on the FN57 is pull the slide back, pull that lever forward, oh, push it forward, boom, drops off. So not incredibly complex, but pretty simple. And, well, the Ruger. So the Ruger, the most complicated of the bunch, you have to push this pin out and then rotate it 90 degrees down. And the, the slide will come off just a little forward of where it's naturally rested. And then you gotta put it on, push the barrel back, because otherwise the pin will not rotate, push it in, and boom. Not overly complicated, but the most complicated of the group. I'm gonna tell you, it's up to you what you like best. I mean, we can talk trigger pulls. Let's see, I would need a magazine for that. Is that a, that's a Ruger mag? That's a Palmetto State mag. Decent trigger pull and reset. I, I missed the reset on that. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. And the FN. pretty good it's more distinct the reset and the trigger pull out of the group that's a little softer and definitely almost unnoticeable reset on that a softer trigger pull but also a softer break I could feel the reset but again uh, the soft one of the softer resets and just definitely like the trigger pull and reset on this they they nailed that pretty impressive but this is definitely uh definitely more tactile feel it is a harder trigger pull but definitely more tactile you know when it goes so definitely let me know in the comments below which one you like and why. And if there's any videos on these guys you want me to do, let me know. Also, I want to get my hands on a Smith & Wesson. I checked it out in SHOT Show. That felt really nice. I was pretty impressed with that. And yes, these cases are dusty for a reason. Nobody uses them.